Okay, so let's just talk about YouTube a little because I recently touched up on all the big changes they made and how I felt. But I've noticed a lot of things like my top videos have made no traction at all. Well, my fourth best video on my entire channel is like almost 9,500 videos now has not gotten of one view in 48 hours and I don't think it's gotten of one view in the past month if it got maybe a couple and you have to say well how is it the top video still well a lot of the content I make for unboxings and stuff just doesn't get a lot of views so I don't um the video I'm talking about is my Seekonk Speedway Nutcracker video it has about 21,000 view of views and it's never been able to get beyond that for some reason. I don't know why. When you search Seacon Speedway Nutcracker, I'm the first video at the top. But for some reason, nobody watches the videos anymore. I basically come to the conclusion that when you upload a video onto YouTube, the good vast majority of them, after a while, just fades out and they don't show up in the search results anymore. I also found, also found out when you search for something on YouTube, it only gives you the first like thousand or so results that you searched for, and then it doesn't do anything after that. So you can only scroll down for so long and then there's no more results. If you want to find that video, you have to find it exactly by going on the person's channel or typing it in, in exactly on the, um, the um, YouTube search. If you don't do that, um, there's no way to find the video anymore. That's probably why a lot of my videos from years ago, especially, especially videos like that, don't get any views at all. It, it's really a shame, actually, because um, unless you're super famous, there's nobody's going to watch your old videos anymore, and then they're done for. What does that mean? So I, should I do something to my, to my channel to clean it up? I thought about that, but there's too many videos for me to go through. If I have almost 9,500 videos now, what am I supposed to do? I already did that once to clean up my channel and make it mainly unboxing, travel videos, and um, um, what's it called, electronic videos. I used to have all kind of rant videos, and I deleted um, more of the heavy ones. I still ran about videos and stuff like for electronics and video, video games, I because I don't like video games that much. But I changed my channel around to make it a little more better than what it was before. And um, I just think YouTube's been really, really, um, I think it's been really, un it's been unfair to people when it comes to views and all that. I mean, if, you, if, if I'm the top result when you search something on YouTube, how can I not be getting any more views? Like, that doesn't make any sense. So, um... I mean, I recorded the last ever Nutcracker race they had at Seacock Speedway, and yet the views are not, not materializing in any way, which means something is, has happened in the search results. Or maybe people are watching my video, but I'm getting absolutely no credit for it. Now, I'm not going to throw a fit over it. I'm just telling people this is what happens. That's why a lot of people show up in the search results they may even get their videos clicked on, but they you just drop off on the list and that's it. Um, I've noticed that a lot. You know, I think YouTube is just too big. It got too big for itself. They can't regulate it properly anymore. And um, all they're concerned about is the areas where they get sued on. This is an area where you can't sue them. You can't sue someone because they're not getting any YouTube views. It's the algorithm. And no one until this day has ever been able to explain exactly what the YouTube algorithm does and how it works. They're like I proved tags as being completely irrelevant. I don't put one tag in any of my videos. I heard you could get banned or your videos could get disabled if you put irrelevant tags in them. So I decided not to use tags at all. And I get just as many views with or without tags. There's about a small amount of my videos, really small, less than 1% of my channel that have tags on them. And those videos get no more views than the videos after that. So I don't even bother with tags anymore. I think they're a waste of time. Um, 
I wish uh, I used to do that way back when I had other channels. I used to use tags, and they never really helped my channel out at all. In fact, it really never made a difference. The only thing that makes a difference on YouTube to get you views is what you name the video. And you just gotta hope people are searching for it and it ends up in a search result. Um, that's why a lot of my unboxing videos get no views because if you unbox something, say, as Star Trek Discovery, that's gonna be showing up for me maybe in a few days. And, um,. When um, that shows up and I unbox the video, it's not going to show up right there and then when I when you search for it. It's most likely going to be way, way down in the search results, if anything. Um, when I do my NCIS, the one things video that I notice that doesn't fall out of the search results is my NCIS, when it comes to unboxings, is my NCIS D DVD videos. For some reason, I'm one of the only people that does any of them. So a lot of people do them, but they don't do them year by year. They'll do them in a complete collection, they'll do, they'll do a few of them, and then they won't do them anymore. I've consistently uploaded those videos since NCIS Season 17 or 16, whatever which one it was. In fact, I can look it up right now. Um, and tell you people exactly what the videos are, and, and, and I can tell you the views, and if if they're still in the search results or not. NCIS sees um, NCIS DVD. Just put that. Okay, and if you look at this, yeah, it all goes back to the last, the very first one I did on this channel was NCIS New Orleans season five DVD unboxing. One point nine thousand views. That's nothing. That's dirt. You go into the video, and you click the analytics, and there's no real-time views at all in the last 48 hours, which means if you search, no one's searching for this or it's not showing up. So, if I go to YouTube right now and search, now I'm not going to search the exact season because I know it'll show, if I put Season 5 DVD unboxing, it'll show up. But, if I just put NCIS New Orleans DVD unboxing, let's see if I show up. Um, NCIS New Orleans. She's the typing in this keyboard is horrible on screen keyboards. NCIS New Orleans DVD unboxing. Let's see what pops up. That stupid thing. Actually, wow. Yeah. Um, I show up right at the top. I'm the first and second top result, and I'm the fourth result, which has not, um, I'm the fifth result, I'm the sixth result. So these videos are just videos people don't search for anymore. That's why I'm not getting views. But it doesn't explain my race car video. If I'm the number one result sometimes when you search for it for the Nutcracker race, you would think that I have more views. You just have to make more videos. If, if I was to just stall and stop making videos right now, my channel would dramatically lose viewership and I wouldn't get views anymore at all. Right now I'm getting an average, which isn't a lot. I don't do this for views. I don't get, I'm, I don't get any traction at all, as a matter of fact. Um, I, I'm not YouTube famous or anything, even though I have almost 9,500 videos. Um, I get about 41,000 views a month, and I get about 1,000 um, hours of watch time. Believe it or not, that's eligible to receive money, but I don't do that because I'm not an asshole. I always said I don't believe in receiving money through YouTube. I think it's a dirty, let me see, they have some time left. It's a dirty, dirty tactic that I don't think people should follow. You know, if you're going to use YouTube to make money off of it, it's just the wrong thing. And I just made some videos yesterday, and um, those got a few views. I've been getting a lot of views, I've noticed, on a lot of my um, movie fit and movie talk videos lately. This has only been happening in the last few months, that I've been getting a, way more views than I normally would. I would get 15, 20 views on a video I talk about certain episodes in a TV show. Now some of them I get 100, 150 views. I think that's only because of the subscribers. The subscribers is what really shocked me 
Now I'm gonna, this is the last thing I want to talk about. I had started with virtually nothing, and I'm all I continue with nothing. I have two thousand five hundred and ninety-three subscribers on my channel. You're wondering how did I get to such a high point in subscribers from virtually nothing? I don't know. Remember, I had different things on this channel before I deleted videos and started again. So I think I have what's called dead subscribers, people that subscribed to me and never came back on. And I said probably more than half of my subscribers are that. But still, I'm growing subscribers every month. So it's not dead subscribers anymore. That was, it seems to have changed. In the last 28 days, in my analytics, I, um, yeah, from July 29th to August 25th, I've added 77 subscribers to my channel. So that means people are watching my videos when it comes to stuff like electronics and unboxings and stuff that I talk about electronics and other things and they're, um, and they're subscribing accordingly. The one thing that I've had zero, absolutely zero success with is my Yankee Candle unboxings. Now, there's a ton of people that do that, but no one ever watches my candle videos. But I do those because I have fun doing it. But I get absolutely no traction from Yankee Candle. I'm actually surprised because I unboxed a lot of candle videos and showed candles online and some people never did. At least not individually. A lot of people unbox their candles all on one video. I do individual unboxings, so if you just want to look at a video with just one candle in it, you can do that on my channel. A lot of other channels just combine everything and they do one video on an entire shelf. So YouTube is a, a very weird place. It seems like even after the drastic changes like content altering um, um, rules that they applied and um, rules that you have to engage yourself as um, uh, um, a children's content channel or an um, a channel that's not for children, and I put not for children because that's obviously this channel's not for kids. Um, I did all that and all those rules. I've, I've still been able to stay on here, but for, for a lot of people that make money and stuff, they've had to make, to make a lot of adjustments. And a lot of people have had to get off of YouTube because the, the rules have changed so much that it doesn't allow them to be on here. Um, they just made that content altering adjustment just to four or five months ago and I've been doing the same stuff ever since then and I haven't had any problems so I don't I don't have to change anything it looks like but there are people that are going to have to make a wide level of adjustments on here now for me I'm not getting views simply because my I'm not popular and exciting enough but there are some of my videos that just get no views for no reason at all and, and um, it doesn't really make much sense to me like and stuff like that um, unboxing videos are rather a weak thing now. Um, if you look at unboxing videos from people that um, unbox new movies and stuff, you might see some in the tens of thousands when it comes to views, but you never see someone unbox uh, a steel book and get a million views in the first day or two. That just, that just doesn't happen. Physical media doesn't have the same appeal uh, for unboxings like it did like 10 years ago. Like I unboxed, one of my first big unboxings I did on this channel for TV shows was Bones, the complete series. Um, and if you notice that, it has, let's see what it has now. I did some, you know, it's funny, I did some Bones unboxings for the Blu-ray sets that I bought, and those got no views at all, but the DVD did. Bones. DVD. Okay, the complete series, 5.4 thousand video views. It was made five years ago when I clicked the analytics. I get, I've had three real-time views in the last 48 hours, which is horrible. But if I put Bones, just Bones by itself, the Blu-ray sets got 188 views, 140, 260, 153, and 169. I didn't give you the seasons, doesn't really matter. In all those videos, the most any of them got were two likes in, in all the videos. So, um, you know, it's just, it's showing up in search results and stuff like that. 
the problem I have with is that I upload a lot of older vi videos that I unbox that have already been on YouTube. So if I upload a season of Bones that I unbox, not not upload season, that's copyright infringement. If I uploaded the DVD unboxing on Blu-ray, if it's already been widely available on YouTube, no one's gonna find my video. They're gonna watch the video with 10,000 views. Even if my video is better, my video has 100 views, they're not gonna watch mine. They're gonna watch mine with more views. And YouTube has been set up like that. I can't complain though, I've reached what? 2,593 views on YouTube from doing no content and no at all, no altering my videos in any way with AI, not breaking um, any of the um, any of the rules like that when it comes to altering stuff, and I still have been able to, I've still been able to reach an average of like over fifty subscribers a month, and that that's that's pretty serious. Um, I'm, that's why I'm gonna leave the channel the way I, the way I'm doing it. I'm just gonna do unboxing videos and blogs and stuff like that with electronics and, and if I have a problem with video games or something. Other than that, and maybe if I go on an occasional vacation video, I'll do videos of me in the airplane, landing and takeoff video stuff like that. But I'm not gonna go beyond that. Um, I'm not gonna edit my videos or do anything because then it gets to a whole another thing or uh, my video could get banned if I don't disclose it correctly or something. So that's that. I know I make these videos long, but I tend to wanna explain everything I talk about and what I do on my channel. All right, that's it, bye-bye.